At least 24 states, led by Republicans, are canceling the additional $300 a month in federal unemployment benefits meant to help struggling Americans during pandemic times, claiming the extra funds are keeping people from even trying to find work while businesses struggle to hire staff. Florida is one of those states. I'm here at all across the country. People can't open their, their restaurants, they can't staff up because people are making more money and they don't want to come back to work. But economists have mixed views on the issue. The unique pandemic circumstances that led to job losses have also led to a changed employment outlook. There are people who are working hard to make something better of themselves. And like the, you? Yes, exactly. And the pandemic really helped stop things for a second and reevaluate our lives. <laughs> when pre-pandemic, I was really struggling to have a, even a relationship with my son or focus on my business. Um, it's it's going to be very hard for me to continue pushing um, the business because that help is really helping me at home um, to just for my regular bills, you know what I mean? I make organic baby purees with locally sourced ingredients. Olipop is the name of Marieli Tejada's fledgling company. It's yet to show a profit, but Tejada is passionate about her organic baby foods made with locally sourced ingredients. She delivers her products to parents and also sells them at local markets. There is no hard evidence to prove large-scale numbers of people are refusing work because they can make more money off the government. Fear of getting the coronavirus, pandemic-related childcare burdens, and a desire to change careers are some of the other reasons workers say are preventing them from returning to the labor force. Many people we spoke with here in Florida, where the hospitality industry is king, said they wanted out of the historically low-paying sector and the hustle for tips. Employers across the nation are hearing similar stories. It was a hard industry to begin with. I mean, you made a living, you made money, but it's, it's stressful. It's, you know, you know, it's, you, you're counter living to everybody else around you. You know, you're working holidays and this. So a lot of people were like, ah, is this really what I want? Is this what I want to do for a whole lifetime? So a lot of people changed careers. And we're finding it hard now to find those people. A lot of those people who were like longtime career hospitality people are just not there. They're gone. Tejada is one of them. She used to work as a server in a restaurant. Now she's working hard to lift her business and pay herself with that check she has on her wall, part of her vision board. That's what I want to be able to pay myself through the business, you know, and in turn help others. I want to be able to give back to my community and um, give food to moms that maybe cannot afford it because they're in the same situation that I am. With the extra federal funds ending earlier than expected, she fears her dreams might be cut short. But she says the pandemic made her realize that she and her son deserve more than making minimum wage and living off of tips. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.